Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing a stargazer lily. Now my stone is natural. Uh, I'm keeping the background natural. Um, and there are some rust colors that are going to pull through when I resin it. So you will see a change in the background of my rock, but I promise you it's the same rock. Now I'm doing the shape in white acrylic paint so that you can get that shape onto your rock. Uh, you can just pause it once you're done, uh, once I'm done with the outline, and then you can put that shape on your rock as well. I am using a Martha Stewart sponge dauber to fill in where I've put the petals for my lily, and I'm going to do two coats. I love using a sponge to fill it in because it just, it gets in all the little nooks and crannies and pits and bumps, and um, it gives great coverage, and there's no paintbrush uh, lines all over the place too. So with acrylic paint that can be really noticeable. So I sponge on two layers, two coats, and start with a nice bright white flower. Now if you have not seen a stargazer lily before, they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, one of my favorites out of the lily family. Uh, so I thought that I would try and paint one up with you guys. I have done them before, but it's been a couple of years. So I, uh, I'm looking forward to this one today. We will be adding a little bit of glitter and a little bit of hologram, but there won't be any gold. So if you want to add gold, you can. Um, I might do another lily in the future with uh, using some gold for sure. But we will see when that's coming out because uh, I am super busy during the summer. So what I've done once that white was dry is now I'm taking a sponge dauber and I'm using a nice magenta color and I'm just going in to each petal and smudging on a layer of that magenta in each petal. We're going to be outlining everything and defining the uh, shape of the petals and everything very soon. But for now, just go in to the center of each petal and sponge on, blend it on nicely. If you go too far out to the edge, um, you can always add some white once that magenta is dry and, and kind of fix that up. Now I'm using some dark berry wine and I'm going in and I'm just darkening up just the center of those uh, magenta areas now. Now I'm going to do on the smaller three petals on the outer edge the same technique. Make sure you don't paint all the way out to the edge of the petals. We want to keep those bright white. And you can do any color lily you want really. If you want to do just a tiger lily or just the regular yellow or orange ones you see while you're driving along and you want to just stop and take a picture of them. <laughs> well, at least I do anyway. My husband gets told to stop a lot so that I can take a picture. <laughs> um, so I am choosing to do a stargazer lily today, but you can definitely change, uh, use the same shape as me and do a regular tiger, tiger lily if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. So I'm just making sure that I've blended in the magenta and the berry wine the way I like it. Just want the insides, the very center, to be a little bit darker. It's all about highlighting and, and low lighting. So I want to make sure that there's definition in the center of those petals. Doesn't look like much now. Looks like a big old pink and white blob on a rock, but we're going to turn this into something absolutely gorgeous, I promise. Starting to come together. Keep in mind also that ring of rust that's on this rock, that's all natural background. If you have a beautiful stone that you want to show off the background, uh, this is a perfect thing to put onto it because you can show it all off. Same with my last tutorial as well with the dotted elephant. I like to really show off and appreciate the beautiful colored stones that we find um, or purchase. And so I don't like to cover up 
too much, but I still want to put something beautiful on it. So um, this stone is going to change quite a lot once I seal it with resin. And uh, if you want to see what your rocks are going to look like after you seal them, always run them under some water. And then you'll be able to see all the colors that decide to come out and say peekaboo. Because uh, a lot of it you don't even realize until it's sealed. Like, wow, this is really nice. That's why I like to look for rocks underwater. <laughs> Not with my face underwater, but I like to look at them while they're underwater at the at the the beach or the lake wherever the you know their natural colors come out when they're underwater so i've added a nice bright like bright bright light green and that's from craftsmart this will all be in the description of my video all the colors that i'm using did three little green thingies. I'm just going to call them that because I haven't looked up all the names of a stargazer lily's parts. So those green thingies, you're just going to have to deal with green thingy for now. <laughs> I added a little bit of uh, bright green from folk art, just a little darker than that, that light green. And I put that in the center while it was still wet. So I just kind of blended them in together with my paintbrush. Now I've outlined all my petals again with white. So they're already starting to have more definition around the petals. But we are going to use black paint to outline everything as well. Make sure your petals look a little wrinkly because um, stargazer li lily petals or a lot of lily petals actually um, have a, a little wrinkle to them. So uh, make sure that they aren't just straight lines everywhere. Make them look more flowy and natural. And if you don't want to outline yours in black, you can outline it in gold and it'll do just as much beautiful things to it. I promise. Now I'm going to be adding uh, two little green leaves coming out the back. Um, and to those leaves, I will be adding hologram, just so you know. So if you do have hologram available, get it ready. Because who wants to have a flower with no sparkle? Not me. I like adding glitter and sparkle to everything. My husband does not appreciate that, by the way. <laughs> We've had some glitter mishaps recently. <laughs> he forgives me. He still loves me. So I am letting this dry literally right in front of your eyes. <laughs> now I will be adding a little bit of the hologram paint as well to the green in the center. Um, just a little bit. But I'm going to add nail glitter to my petals now. It's like a pink nail glitter. I, I will have the link in the description. It's nail shell powder or nail chrome pigment powder. And you can get them in all different colors. And it does beautiful things to my artwork. So I highly recommend. It lasts forever. A little goes a long way. And... I just put a little bit on my petals because I want to give it that nice glittery effect just on the pink areas. So the color I'm using is pink and then I'm using DuraClear gloss varnish over top of that glitter so that it stays put and then I got to let that dry. So everywhere I put glitter, I'm putting the DuraClear, letting that dry. And then that pink glitter won't just run all over the rock. You want to keep it in one place. Now I'm doing the glitter first and then doing berry wine dots on all of the petals. So you can watch how I'm doing it. Um, or you can also look it up on uh, Google or images. 
of uh, stargazer lilies and you can figure out where you want to put all of your dots as well but basically just a nice little splash of I like to call them flower freckles <laughs> so a little splash of flower freckles and uh, then we are good to go but I always do those on top of the glitter because I don't want those to be glittery I just want the petal to be glittery if that makes sense to anybody <laughs> so I am putting on more freckles everywhere, flower freckles. Now I'm going to do the back two little leaves that are going to be coming out, just little pointy sprigs because they're hiding underneath that giant flower. And they're going to be a, a more of a classic green. So it's like a darker, more natural leaf green, I guess you could say. And then I'm adding some bright green uh, in the center of those just to give it a little bit of a highlight and then when they are dry they get the hologram treatment which is like VIP treatment to be honest if you don't have hologram I'm so sorry any glitter will work you want to put some glitter on those leaves though so I'm pretty happy with this it's not realistic but it's close enough and it's easy for you to do with me while you're painting with me. So I just want to thank you guys all for being such loyal fans, loyal friends of mine. I consider you all friends. So keep painting with me and, and uh, I will keep trying to inspire you. That's a promise. So I've put my signature on it. And I am going to add the hologram to the leaves now that they are dry. It looks like a white sloppy mess on there, but when it's dry, it's gorgeous. Kind of looks like glue with sparkles in it, which it kind of is, I'm sure. <laughs> but I don't know for sure, so don't correct me. There we go. I've put some beautiful resin on it. Look at the color that came out in that. I don't feel like it gave you enough time to stare at it with resin, so I added a little clip at the end of this video for you. A little bit of slow-mo. I want you to be able to see the glitter difference between the hologram and the petal glitter that I used. Uh, the nail glitter on the petals, I should say. It does wonders, trust me. Uh, it looks gorgeous. The rust color came out on my stone and just makes it even more beautiful. So I feel blessed and very happy with my artwork today and I hope you feel great about yours. Thank you guys for painting with me. Don't forget how much I love and appreciate every single one of you. Take care and keep painting.